Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It has been a minute, so it feels really good to be back shooting. So if you are new here today, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up with any questions you guys have or any suggestions for new videos. And I hope you enjoy today's video about Fashion Week, which is always a good idea. So let's get into it. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about how Fashion Week can add value to you as a makeup artist. Now, Fashion Week is, oh, it's kind of crazy, honestly. There's a lot going on, everyone's running around, there's a really big time constraint, so it can be really stressful for a lot of people, but at the end of the day, there's so many pros that outweigh the cons that I just had to make this video and share. Right off the bat, Fashion Week makes you a faster artist. Not only are you strengthening your skills and learning how to totally beat the clock, but you're becoming more efficient in the process. On top of that, you become extremely organized. So, instead of carrying around like a 60 pound makeup kit, you're really condensing everything and you're learning how to make the most of what you have. So makeup that's multi-use is definitely the go-to. Next up, I would definitely say that Fashion Week helps you gain amazing people skills and really teaches you how to deal with teams and basically teamwork. That's something that you're gonna take with you anywhere that you go. And at the end of the day, you're working with a bunch of different artists that have all kinds of different experience and backgrounds and it might be tough to collaborate together at times but throwing yourself into fashion week and learning how to handle any situation is only gonna benefit you at the end of the day. Lastly, exposure and experience, two of the most important things that you definitely need to succeed in this industry. So fashion week not only is gonna expose you to all these different people, companies, models, brands, the list goes on and on, but you're gaining so much experience that is really gonna help you level up. And that's what ultimately we all want, right? So those are some of the pros that I came up with that I really thought were important and brought a lot of value to not only me, but possibly you in the future as a makeup artist, walking into these Fashion Week shows and running shit. <laughs> At the end of the day, no, Fashion Week is definitely not easy, but it's worth putting yourself through the madness because you get so much out of it and you're gonna create some memories that you're definitely not gonna forget about and you're gonna feel really awesome at the end of the day knowing that you totally killed like a million looks back to back. So since I've been receiving so many questions over the years about Fashion Week, I decided to just throw them all together and give you guys a really awesome Q&A just about how to get into it, some background, and more. So how did you get your first show? So I went to Makeup Designery in New York City and they have this really awesome tool that is their job board. So you can go online, you log in, and they have all these different like job listings, whether it's for fashion or editorial, um, like music videos, TV shows, the list goes on and on. I came across this team listing that was looking for makeup and hair artists uh, for Fashion Week. And I was like, oh my God, this is awesome because at the time, even now, I absolutely love fashion. So I was like, Yes, I'm totally going. I'm getting in there. I'm putting my foot in the door. And so that's what I did. I applied, I reached out, they gave me all the details and I showed up and did the damn thing. And it was awesome. So have to give the credit to Mud for allowing me to have the opportunity to get in contact with these people organizing these awesome events. How can I put my foot in the door? So if you're one of those people that is interested in fashion or fashion weeks and they want to get in there but don't know how, I would definitely say do your research. Go on Instagram, use your platforms, use Google, and search up different fashion weeks in your area or maybe nearby that you could possibly travel to. I know artists that would literally 
take a two day excursion just to get to New York Fashion Week and they would just stay in a hotel for the week. So people definitely make it happen. It totally just depends on what you're willing to do. But look up what exactly you're interested in. There's so many different types of shows. Um, there's charity shows, there's, you know, bridal shows, couture shows, etc. So it's really what you're looking for and what their requirements are. So research, research, research. How do you know which makeup team is good? From my personal experience, when I joined my previous traveling makeup team that I was fortunate enough to complete many different um, shows with, I didn't really understand the difference between a good and bad makeup team. To me, I was very happy for my personal gain to be able to go out and just throw myself out there and meet people and do shows, which if you're a beginner, definitely do it. But also pull up their credits, go online on their Instagram and see what people are saying, look at reviews, look at the work they're doing. And if it's something that you can see yourself doing, if you know, the team is very open to new people, then that's awesome. I think you should definitely try it out. I mean, at the end of the day, it's still experience. But once you start growing more as an artist, you can always find a new team, obviously depending on whether you sign a contract or not. But there are definitely options. I think point blank period, just getting in there and meeting new people will definitely help you align with what direction you want to go in and what kind of work you want to do moving forward. So if you're new to this industry, if you're new to fashion and beauty, I would definitely say that hopping onto a, a team that focuses on fashion weeks, if that's what you want to do, is totally the way to go. What should I bring for my first show? Okay, so once you have confirmation that you are going to be attending a show, um, they're going to give you all the details. So, um, location, time, maybe you'll receive a call sheet. Um, it just depends on which show you're working on, but they will tell you if you need any additional materials. Um, some shows require you to bring your own extra material, like rhinestones or feathers, that kind of thing. But they will definitely let you know. It's always great to be over prepared though and bring some of that fun stuff just in case. You're never gonna know if a designer totally loves it and wants you to use it, so do it anyway. You're gonna end up impressing a lot of people. How much money do you make for Fashion Week shows? Oh, oh honey. <laughs> so Fashion Week shows don't really pay that well. Some shows do pay their artist and or compensate with makeup or you know, different brands like to give them special treats or hair products. Um, but for the most part, honestly, if you're not a top tier, like A-list or makeup artist working in shows like Pat McGrath, you're probably not gonna make a lot of money. Um, personally, when I was doing a lot of shows, everything was coming out of pocket for the most part. I would be compensated with uh, makeup from different brands and I would obviously get to go to awesome after parties and just have a good time enjoying the shows, picking up things along the way. However, that definitely doesn't mean that I was getting paid. Um, I was taking a train from New Jersey to New York every morning at like 3 a.m. <laughs> like just to get there on time and get to set. Um, so everything was coming out of pocket for me as far as food and any, you know, lashes and all that fun stuff. So that's definitely something to consider as much as Fashion Week is totally awesome. You have to be willing to make some sacrifices and also know that you might not always get paid at first. You're just gonna have to do a lot of free work, but at the end of the day, it's totally gonna help you, so do it anyway. <laughs> How can I find Fashion Week shows? Definitely do your research, use LinkedIn, Instagram, all your social media platforms, and find those connections that are directly linked to these events. Um, just reach out to them. 
as many people as you can, honestly, because the more the merrier, you're just planting seeds, so that's always great. Um, and you never know who's gonna answer to you. Tell them that you are very interested in Fashion Week, you've looked at their past work, and you think it's marvelous, and you know, you have your portfolio ready if they're interested to look and see, and you know what the next steps are. Just put yourself out there. There's no harm in trying and seeing if you'll get an in to work with Maybelline or something. What does it mean to lead a team during Fashion Week? So, leading a team is such a cool job. I'm very blessed to say that I have led multiple shows and that basically means that whoever is leading that team is talking to designers, figuring out looks, breaking them down not only with other teams but with your team as well and then after that you got to make sure everyone is fully equipped ready to go you're running around making sure that everyone's looks are on point that everything looks as if it should you're letting other artists know what they need to correct if they need anything to correct um, so it's definitely a teacher job um, you have to really be on your toes because not only are you creating in the process, but now you gotta make sure that everyone else creating with you is on point. Because as soon as those models hit the runway, there is no going back and fixing anything. And those pictures are gonna be everywhere. So you gotta make sure that everyone is just on point. It's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. So I hope you guys get to experience that at some point. Maybe. Do I need to be licensed to do shows? Definitely not. Um, I'm not licensed currently, however, I will be very soon, <laughs> but um, you don't. As long as you have a solid makeup background, a portfolio, a website, as long as you have the basics of a solid makeup artist foundation, most of the time people that are recruiting will look at your portfolio and then make a decision. So make sure that your portfolio is totally kick-ass because like 99% of the time, that's what you're gonna be judged on. What are some of your best memories through Fashion Week? Oof, all right. So I've had so many amazing memories due to Fashion Week and I'm so blessed and grateful to say that I've made so many amazing friends through those different shows and I've learned so much and really just it, it put me through the it put me through it honestly <laughs> but I would have to say that some of my best memories besides the friends and artists that I had met would have to be um, during one show I had a model sit in my chair and she was having a really rough day and while I was doing her makeup we got in this super deep conversation and by the end of the makeup, she was like in such a great mood. And I was so happy that we were able to connect and I was able to give her that boost of confidence and just light to get her through the day. And actually she ended up coming back to me like 20 minutes later and leaving a card for me that she bought. And she wrote this whole thing in there about how I changed her day and how blessed she is for us to cross paths. And I thought that was so beautiful because it really goes to show that sometimes you meet people once and you never see them again, but you definitely uh, make a difference in their life. So I'm never gonna forget her and I'm very blessed to live the life I live. Another awesome memory that will always be in the vault is when my work was featured in Vogue multiple times after a show. I was totally blown away. I was so happy and proud of myself. And it was definitely one of those moments that made all the hard work totally worth it. So that just goes to show that putting yourself out there will really help you as far as exposure. What are some of your worst memories? I know it's all glitz and glam. However, at the end of the day, what I do is still a job, especially during a show. Like I said, there are so many things going on. It's hard to concentrate at times. Um, you have people bumping into you. You have people screaming. Uh, it's just a hot mess, honestly. So that can sometimes steer you off track. On top of that, if you think about it, you're doing makeup back to back to back. 
and you won't always be provided a tall chair. So most shows, you will be bending over, trying to get liner right while everyone's like screaming at you and other people. You have other models running up to you asking them to fix this or that. Um, and that's always a struggle to have to fix another artist's makeup. So if you are going into any shows, just keep in mind that you definitely want to focus on what you're doing the best you can kind of zone out, ignore everyone else, and do the best work that you can do. Another con slash rough, tough memory um, would definitely have to be that you don't always get to eat, which is also very hard. Um, after like a 15 hour day of you nonstop going back and forth, you definitely want to sit down for five minutes and eat, but that's not always the case. Sometimes you really just cannot. The show must go on. There's a time constraint and everyone and your team around you is just busting everyone out, trying to get all the looks done. And it can be frustrating for you to try to stay up on your feet and keep going. But that's, that's what it is. That's what you gotta do. You gotta keep it going. So from personal experience, it can definitely be a little discouraging, uh, but at the end of the day, you're so proud of yourself for getting through it. So that was just a little Q&A. I hope that gave you some insight on just how things work, um, maybe some background, some more info that you wish you would have gotten in the past. Um, for anyone that's a beginner or that's going into makeup school or that's interested in fashion at all, definitely just throw yourself out there. I think that's the best thing that you can do. All the amazing memories that you're going to gain from Fashion Week, they're always going to be with you and you're going to always carry that and you're going to be so grateful looking back that you were able to really put your skills to the test and see what you can really do. And there's nothing more amazing than having a designer come up to you and give you a hug and say that you've completed their vision and made it come to life true story and honestly that will forever stick by me that aside i know everything going on right now with covid has been really crazy so i want you guys to definitely stay safe stay healthy very unfortunate that so many shows have been canceled um but this obviously and definitely gives you guys more time to prep for the future so if you are interested and doing New York Fashion Week, or Milan Fashion Week, or London Fashion Week, or all the awesome fashion weeks of the world. Prep yourself, get ready, test your skills, time yourself, and honestly, just throw yourself in. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you found any of my advice helpful or interesting, comment down below and let me know and reach out to me via social media, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff is linked down below. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Good luck.